What's going on guys? What's up everybody? We're out here in Portland, Oregon. We're gonna take you guys around to some of the must visit places if you guys are ever visiting Portland. We got sneaker stores, we got vintage stores, we got forts, we got all kinds of stuff planned for today. While we have you here, we are going live once again on Whatnot, Tuesday, August 2nd at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. guys. We're gonna be actually going through our personal closet, getting rid of a bunch of t-shirts that we don't wear anymore. Pants, shorts, just gonna do a huge clear out. Maybe even some shoes. So all my seven and a half men, nine women people out there, you might get a little trickled in there. There's a link in the pinned comment. If you click that and sign up, you'll get $10 towards your first purchase. Make sure to go sign up, join us on Whatnot, Tuesday, August 5th at 5 p.m. But we are at our first stop. We are at Index, downtown Portland. I'm pretty sure it is one of the oldest shops. We will have to ask the guys in there, but they I know they've been here for a long time. We've been meaning to make it down here. I've heard nothing but great things about this store, so I'm excited to go check it out. I'm dying in the heat. I hope they have some AC. <laughs> I hope so too. Let's get in there, guys. to give you all a tour of the shop. So we all have a section pretty much by style. Uh, we, we were never able to do it by size, so we just kind of figured that was the easiest way to do it. Um, so this is kind of like our heater case, right? So uh, we like having a mix of like kind of stuff we like and like what's hype. So you'll see the off-whites and stuff like that, but you'll see a lot of PEs. Um, a lot of PEs. A ton of do PEs. Do these just walk through the door? Yeah, yeah. Kind of comes in handy when you're in Portland. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure. All these have come through the door, it's insane. Like, Got some Bibby PEs, some Oregon, Oregon State PEs, uh, tracks, of course. We have a 94 Chicago, trophy rooms, just like a good mix of stuff. Both easy twos. Yeah, both easy twos. Where's the Red October? That one sold. Yeah, we haven't had it. Yeah, we haven't had one. It was, that was the first one that sold. I think we had all three of those at the same time. Um, the yeah. DVs? Yeah, DVs. Yeah, is this car off Friends and Family? Yeah, Friends and Family, wow. no swoosh. Yeah. Super, super cool. Got some crazy stuff in there now. Canaries too, yeah. Super, super dope. Um, What's your favorite pair in there? That is price tag question. aside, which one would you pop right now? Your favorite? Um, probably. Ooh, oh my gosh. Probably, probably the Springs. Just because, like, that was a shoe that, like, I've kind of grown up wanting, you know, and like it was always un unobtainable and it kind of still is now, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're really hard to find. Um, but that shoe's just so yeah. sick, like that colorway. I love like the orange specifically. Orange specifically. Nice. Yeah, the blue ones are cool, but like I love the orange oh, ones, like just because it's a Syracuse color. So. Right. Just like some more PEs and stuff like that. Um, I don't know everything that's in the case. Just uh, every. So what's cool about the shop is everybody has their own kind of like specialty almost. We have a homie who's like really good with Air Forces. The owners are more of the PE guys, and like us younger like people, we just we do all that stuff. You know, so it's good. It's good. Knowledge is definitely key when it comes. To do the sneaker business. Yes. Like you can really either get got if you don't have the knowledge For or sure. you can really excel and uh, somebody else will be able to. So if like if someone brought me in one of these pieces, yeah. I would literally I would I would not be able to buy them because I don't have the knowledge. It's insane. Basically, this whole wall is all Jordan brand. So Jordan ones, Jordan twos, etc. So this is kind of like our bread and butter. You know, this is kind of what everybody shops. It's a little bit more obtainable for everybody. Right. Um, obviously, Jordan like retros are just popping right now. Um, do retros do, do well for you guys? I think they're like our number one seller in here for sure. So like ones will always be popping. Fours, we're selling a ton of fours right now. I, mean, I don't know how the market's different up there. For you. It's really weird. <laughs> I mean, Seattle is just kind of, we don't really have it. Just, right, it's just it whatever. Like yeah, right, right. Yeah, like there, you know, ours comes in waves too, but fours have just been popular. Like everybody wants like black and white military fours, yep. red fours, like black hats, cool and that stuff. This is a nice one. You don't see the green gloves too often. We got size 11 and a half. I still buy for like 50 <laughs> I like regret it like a ton. Like, that's such a good colorway. Um, OG lasers. Wow. Like, you really don't see these. That's a tiny size. Yeah, I think it's, it's a seven. Size seven. Yeah. Only two hundred dollars. I think it's just because they're so good. I mean, that's such a good deal. Good deal. Yeah, like if someone has to buy these. Like get them restored, full swap. Like. Yeah, yeah, all wow. So sick. Yeah. Laser four guys, two hundred dollars, size seven. Too small for me, but insane. You guys could shop this at 
Index. index. Yep, yeah. Index PDX. Oh, kind of index PDX. Yeah. Everything in store yeah. they can find on the yep. website? Everything in store, oh. tax free. You know, we ship oh. internationally, so you know, please check that out. We got some skills on there. Black cats, Black the prices on these? Insane. $800. Like, insane. I have like, so I have the OG pair and they are separate. But, so I was like, oh, I'll just, I'll just wait to copy these. Yeah. And I was like, oh, they're sitting. I'll just wait. And, they're old and then boom, just went up. And I was like, oh, I should have bought them. Insane. I could see maybe like 400 Yeah. You know, but Max. $800 on a... And they sell at that. It's insane. They really yeah. sell at that. Yeah, so like more threes, 11s. Just a really good mix of stuff. Here you're going into like kind of Nike basketball. Um, so you get like foams, pennies. We got kind of a mix of Air Forces in there too, Kobe's. I love the variety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super awesome good. Variety. That's what we like strive for is variety. You know, because it's like we all love shoes and like we're all different generations of sneakerheads. So it's like, you know, just having that kind of touch in there. You know, it's not just going to all be hype stuff, which sure. there's nothing wrong with that, but uh, it's it's really good variety. Being able to have someone come in and there's literally something for everybody and it's not just all expensive for It's not yeah. just like easy. It's like they have cheaper options, they got Air Force, they got Blazers, they got yeah. literally every option that they can choose from. Exactly, like you can have like the kid who's just getting into stuff or you can have the parent who's always been collecting, yeah I mean, and like, I just love that about this shop, like just so much good stuff. Yeah, all the SBs and dunk section, we have a mix of old and new SBs, but to be honest, like it used to be like our slept on section. Probably be like, probably like three shelves of these and never got touched, ever. Like, no one and now that ever. all the prices have raised, it's oh like gosh. It's probably like one of the first I mean, it does, you know, it helps that it's by the door, but right. like, yeah. people immediately go here and they're like, what dunks do you guys have the size 9 or whatever, and I'm just like, that didn't happen when I first started. So the dunks, they kind of like got popular, do you, right. think, do you feel like yeah. they're dying back up a little bit? I think they're mellowing out. You know, I think like, I still think that wave is still going a little bit, like yeah. I still think there's kids who really want to buy some SBs and I think it's a good thing because it introduced a whole other genre of shoes to people. It is not as like, like two years ago, it was like, oh my gosh, we couldn't keep things in stock. This is just kind of like miscellaneous stuff. So you'll see like a lot of the Yeezys, a lot of Air Max. So you guys are not very heavy on the Yeezys. Do they not do I'd say the only thing right now that sells as far as Yeezy goes are like Spurs, like That's one thing that's different from Seattle. We definitely, I mean, we sell a good amount of Yeezys. Yeah. So do I have a couple questions for you? Cool. So what would you say would be the most challenging thing of being the manager? Yeah. It's kind of tough. I think like, I think it's just like, understanding at least with my coworkers everybody has different personalities yeah. and different tastes and you kind of have to like level down yourself like and understand and try to relate to everybody you know you're gonna you make, meet a lot of people yeah exactly you meet all walks of life you know, and just so. reading people and getting to know their personality and kind of yes. catering the way you communicate with them yes so i can relate to that too i yeah. i mean before i opened the store i wasn't a huge people person for sure so just getting sure. to talk to people and getting to know the different personalities like it's definitely helped me grow as a I've definitely like I'm, I'm a really social person. I'm like pretty opposite, but like there's things that I've learned about and how to communicate with certain people in here that I'm like, wow, I would have never known that unless I worked here. So, uh, what do you feel like sets Index apart from all of the other sneaker stores in the world? Uh, um, right. That's like the biggest thing. Like, you know, kind of like what I've mentioned, even with our tour and stuff like that. Like, we have a mix of everything. You know, and that's not saying like if if you're a store who only has all the hype stuff or you know only sells shoes that does really well. That's all good. It's just like we really proud of this. Variety. So, what is one piece of advice you would give to like a young reseller, entrepreneur, someone that's kind of just looking to come up in the sneaker resale game? Save your money. Yeah, I mean, like don't buy dumb shit. No. Yeah. I mean, you know, like you're. I think you're going to like make those dumb purchases and stuff like that because that's how you learn, right? But like all that profit, like put it back in. Yep. You know, like don't. Don't go all ignorant and buy like it's like yeah I'm gonna go buy like the thousand dollar shoe for myself. It's yeah. like yeah you can do that. God, you know? that's like the best. That is the <laughs> best answer, and you came up with it like yeah. that. Seriously, that, that yeah. would probably be my yeah. number one piece of advice. So just reinvest yeah. everything you can until yeah. you got it like that. Yeah. You know. And you'll get there. You know, over time and stuff like that. But you have to make those sacrifices and stuff like that. Like. You know, that's how the owners did it here, you know what I mean? That's what they implemented on me. It's like, yeah, save your dough. Well, thank you, Mark. Thank you for answering oh, my questions. Of course, Thank yeah. you for showing us around the shop. Yeah. I love Index. Yo, thank, we love y'all. What the heck? <laughs> Yo, we gotta come through. It's gonna be our time next time. You guys didn't see the owners. <laughs> camera shy. Little camera shy.
but they, they're back there. Yeah. Next time, they said they are gonna come to the shop. We might be able to get them on camera a little bit, get a little bit of advice from them because they have ran the shop for the last 10 years. They've got some business knowledge up here that is very valuable and I would pick their brand. But that is Index. I hope you guys come check them out. They are literally downtown Portland. Yeah, Chinatown Portland. Pretty much in the heart of Chinatown. So yeah, feel free. IndexPDX.com, Index Portland on the gram. Check us out, guys. All right, next stop is back at the basket. This one is more shoes, vintage, and sportswear. So a little mixture compared to mainly shoes at uh, Index. Let's go in there and check out what they got. Hopefully meet the owner. See you guys in just a second. You think in the next hit? Holding on the treasures, lusting after pleasures. I become addicted to this feeling under pressure. I get plenty of loot these days, I swear I never let up. It's embedded in my genetics. Like nice clothes and seeing where the night goes. Leave me when the light's slow. I just get like light bulbs. Attempted to right wrongs. I carry a light load. I travel the right roads. I see how the dice roll. I talk that they need to hear. Tell it how I'm dealing with it. They been on that silly shit. I rap the pay the billies, bitch. Trying to see I'm in. I trip floss and plenty big. I don't want no bust down wrist. I'd rather save my innocence. Miss when we were Kool Aid sit. Cops outside the church and shit. Niggas out here in the field, they pull it off the hip and empty clip. Well, I got Jalen here. Real quick, let's do a tour yeah. of your lovely shop here. Yes, indeed. Yeah, so first off, got the lovely sneaker wall, of course. Tried to go left to right, didn't work. So, more <laughs> shoes we could fit bottom to top. So, we have everything in size order. Starting with the Iverson 3, going up to Isaiah Thomas 4. Oh, right it's okay. all by players, so it's cool. You got the Kobe oh, 8, oh, D Wade, yep, and so on. We are full buy sell trade, so we have sneakers that we buy. We buy apparel, accessories, literally anything basketball. We have people bring in a lot of stuff, like for instance, we just bought 30 jerseys from a guy. Um, we also go everywhere online, Goodwill, Buffalo Exchange, any thrift shop we can find. And we're uh, sourcing 24 7, it's a total of like five people. And plus, we have a lot of stuff on consignment as well, too. Okay. So, um, guys just bring in their stuff and we sell it for them. Um, so, you can only go into a vintage store and hope to find a basketball jersey. Yeah. Um, so, we wanted to make a one stop shop. Come in here. If you need a basketball jersey, we probably have it, right? Um, first, of course, gotta show love. The WNBA. WNBA, yes indeed. New with tags, yep. And so we're mainly vintage, but we carry some of the new stuff. We just price it at Nike retail. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, we have a lot of co connections over there, so we just get stuff for pretty good yeah. price. Yeah, we put kind of all the bangers um, up here, just so everyone can see them. Um, but then also, we have a lot on the racks as well. What's your like number one selling jersey? So off the top of my head, anything Sonics. Yep. Gone out the door. Doesn't even hit the shelf sometimes. Um, Allen Iverson, yep. Michael Jordan, Kobe, um, Blazers, Dame, Brandon Roy. From there, it kind of just like trickles in Golden State, Steph Curry, and then all the older ones. Like, you got like a random Nick Van Exel. It's just a smaller size, so it hasn't sold yet, but like. When we get rare gems like that in, they'll go quick. But it's got to be that large XL. Back row is going to be all outerwear. Um, it's all in size order, starting from small all the way down to 2X. It's going to be just a bunch of random teams. You know, you got your Lakers puffer in there. And this one's actually super dope. Oh, yeah. The Dream the Team. Team. Yes, indeed. Yeah, and what's crazy is, so new with tags, right? But found it at Goodwood. Wow. You know what I mean? So, fun stuff. You find some gems for yeah, sure. I can't take my eyes off of a specific type of item in here. Mm -hmm. That back corner. Are those Ooh, bars? Oh, yes. Yes, okay, indeed. Okay, we gotta go over Let's there and do it. Let's do it. Sure, got you. Yeah, no, we try to keep as many as possible. There was a whole bunch. When we first opened up, they were all over the internet. People were bringing them in. They were only made in 1998. So after that year, though, 1998, they never made them again. And so okay. this is it, NBA Barbie collab. I don't think we'll ever Didn't see it again, it but me neither. Yeah, no, as soon as I started working here, I thought it was like a DIY type yeah, yeah, of yeah. thing that some guy just made. Oh, and then no, the owner sure enough told me, he's like, no, 1998. And I'm like, I was four years old, but <laughs> it is what it is, you know? This is our infamous selfie wall. I love yep, it. The Barbie wall, very hard to come by. There's actually one other one that's supposedly impossible to come by. Uh, there's a collector that's been doing this for like years, specifically NBA Barbie. Uh -huh. She has every single one except for the Dallas Mavericks. Wow. And so we, um, we're trying to team up with her and hopefully find it for her uh -huh. and get it to her. But yeah, this is definitely the home of the Barbies. So over here, this is like our little uh, kind of shrine of everything. So we got a whole bunch of random baubles. 
This one's probably my favorite right here, Wesley. It's actually funny, I made a TikTok with the bobbleheads. And so I was like, just, you know, playing with them. <laughs> I turned my back to walk away. Every single one of them fall and broke. Oh. Broke every single one of them, all the Dairy Queen glasses, everything. So it was all bad, but we replenished. So we're good. Oh, dang. Yes, indeed. He's not fired, guys. He's yeah, not exactly, fired. exactly. He's I know, for so sure. Hit my pocket a little bit, but it's all right. We're good. The oh, shack wow. ornament. That's yeah, sick. That's super cool. Yeah, every single uh, Christmas. Dang, he's looking we get this. Slim. I know, right? That's it's early shack. That's early shack right there. Is this store merch? Um, no. So this is actually a local brand called Trailblazing. If you're okay. from Portland or Oregon, really at all, you know about Trailblazing. Even racing tees, which is pretty cool. Like, so like stuff like this. Hey, what was the story on this one? After the, the Blazers played the Seattle Supersonics, they won 96 to 92, something around there. Zebo and Damon Stoudemire were like, you know what, guys, we'll drive back ourselves. You guys go, we'll meet you back down in Portland. Took in the famous Yellow Hummer, Interstate 30. They get pulled over by the Popo, and sure enough, they blazing down on like an OZ weed. <laughs> yeah. So they get arrested, so. Yeah. What? So trill blazing, you know, yes, yes, indeed. Yo. But yeah, they do a lot of stuff with that Hummer and that whole story. Um, they have another racing tee that dropped a while ago, sold out. They don't last more than a week here. So oh yes, indeed. Big drip, you know what I'm saying? A little something light, off whites. Air Forces got these here, of course. Can't let the size 11s go. <laughs> Always got to take them home. Um, some basic Nike shorts, Gucci daddies. Um, 1992. 2A state championship Oregon shirt. It came in, I said I need it. Single stitch, and that's a little LA cap, glasses. I say these give me 10 cool points every time I put them on, so. Fit check. Ooh. Bet. All right, I got the Heritage ones on, got them for steel. Of course, at the shop, just rocking some basic little checker print shorts to beat the heat, gotta stay cool. Went with the button up Tyshawn Johnson, I believe is his name, skater with Adidas, brought it so I got the snap. So when I walk outside, open up, get the breeze to come through, and then pull back the hair. And we got a fit just like that. What does the selection say? It says six inches, right? Fingertips? Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yeah, We're there. No more than six inches, and then not past your fingertips when you put your hands on. Right, exactly. <laughs> Gucci yep. qualified, I think both of you. We're good. We're good. How, uh, I don't know. I don't not know. You. Got a couple more inches. <laughs> you gotta roll them up. There you go. That's okay. I ain't about that hoochie life. I feel you. Alright, that is gonna be a wrap to back to the basket. This place was awesome. I can't believe the amount of stuff that they have in here. All the jerseys, all the shoes, all the jackets, all the memorabilia. We can't thank these guys enough for letting us in here. Oh, yes, indeed. Before you guys go, we got one more thing for you. So, for you guys, for the followers, we're gonna give away a pair of dunks. Size four and a half youth, nice black and silver colorway. All you gotta do to enter is subscribe to The Sneak City on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, backtothebasket.com and The Sneak City on Instagram. Um, and comment below your favorite part of the video and your Instagram, get a chance to win. And for your guys' gifts, so we have a lot of connections over at Nike. Um, these are some women's NCAA Ooh. basketball shorts. They are team issued player samples. Hot damn. Holy yeah. moly. The Clemson and then the Oklahoma State Cowgirls. Cowgirls. With the cowboy on the front there. You did not have to do that. Of so course. I really appreciate it. We got you, most definitely. Can't thank you guys enough for coming through. Back to the basket.com, everywhere on social media Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, YouTube coming soon. Can't wait to do something in the future with you guys. Thank you. Woohoo! Let's go. Outside spot number three, we are at Laundry PDX. Vintage and streetwear. Let's go on in. The world been dying days is number. Check the climate. I'm sick of it. Fuck the hair brain scheme to get the riches quick. I played a long game with a serene scene and I whipped this quick. From the back room to the hearts, I'm in the thick of it. I grind too hard for y'all not to see me a star, bitch. I'm raising a bar like they really pay me to talk my life in a shambles. But I got handles, I'm finishing at the rim. I remind you time and again and again that I'm really him. Oh, you ain't up. No. This shit not just for I love all the decor that this store has, that Back to the Basket had. Just amazing wall decor. Fun t-shirts hanging off the wall. They got a Nike golf ball hanging from the wall over here. Mainly sports gear, vintage sports gear. We got shorts behind her. We got jerseys. We got more shorts over here. We got some jackets. Windbreaker, dope ACG like fleece pullover. So we're gonna line up with like football jerseys down here. We got a bunch of hockey jerseys right here. 
And you know what a nice touch is? If you look up, they angled their posters so that you can see them. Oh, that's smart. Smart. I would huh? never think of that. Got baseball jerseys over here. Looks like we got soccer jerseys, top and bottom. And then back here, it looks like they just have more vintage sports tees. Bunch of variety. This just looks like, oh yeah, just looks like uh, regular vintage tees then. Pull a couple out. King's shirt, Taz Mariner shirt, Nebraska Husks shirt, we've got a Buffalo Bills shirt, and then we got a USA Olympic basketball shirt. More lovely decor back here. Looks like we have some hand painted, planters. custom crafted planters, and then some, looks like some prints as well. Some, some uh, looks like some local art potentially. Dream Team USA, we got the kind of like a Sonics vibe going on here. Kind of got a lot going on in these ones. Military Blues up here, Sonics Bulls, All-Star Jersey, Dunkle Ball cereal. Got a whole wall of hats on this side. We are here with Steve. I know I just personally gave you guys a tour, but do you want to show them like maybe your favorite section of the store? Yeah. Let's do it. We have a bunch of sections. I think my favorite one has to be the Nike section. It's like a super bright windbreakers. Got pants. We didn't catch on to that, that no, it was all nice. You got a chance to sell one to me one time, which is kind of cool. He wore it like in a music video. What in the hell is going on back there? <laughs> yeah, so they do like a bunch of events like next door, gotcha. like fashion shows, like stuff. Oh, like they're just like testing the audio? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was like. <laughs> Sounds like the depths of hell. It's like, so we have teamed up with Laundry PDX to do a giveaway for you guys. They want to give you a $50 gift card to use online or to purchase something in store. All you have to do to enter is... Number one, subscribe to Sneak City on YouTube. Number two, follow Laundry PDX and The Sneak City on Instagram. And number three? Number three, comment your favorite part of the video down below and your Instagram handle. And one lucky person is going to win a $50 gift card to use at Laundry PDX. We are at our final and last sneaker store, Hearth. Hearth. I'm not sure what all this is, but we'll find out when we go in there. Let's get in there, check them out, see what they got. We are at our last and final shop, Hearth. We're here with Chris. Hey guys. First thing I have to say is the lighting is killer in here. Uh, thank you. Thank I love you. the aesthetic. I love the green on the wall. I thank love the lighting. You guys have it set up beautifully. This is probably like the most aesthetically pleasing sneaker shop I've been to in a while. Thank I you. I applaud you guys. It Thank you. Very we good in here. Definitely appreciate that. I guess it's known as either hearth or hearth. So the correct know. pronunciation is hearth, but if you say hearth, it's completely okay. You we might just get a little dirty look. But... Eh, just a little bit. <laughs> oh, they even have the pronunciation. Uh... <laughs> Alright, so Chris is going to give us a little mini tour of the shop. Give us a breakdown. What you guys got in stock. Yeah, Clothing, brands. Just give us a little rundown. Yeah, of course. I guess we can just start over here for you guys. So this wall kind of just starts off on our men's wall. Um, so this one, it's kind of a little bit mixed though, because again, you know, we don't have that much room in here, so we kind of have to mix things up in a little bit. But all right here is kind of our brand new and used section. Um, everything here, if it is used, obviously it will say used on the tag, obviously, just so we don't get any confusion. And then obviously if it's brand new, it'll say basically just blank sizes and prices and all that stuff. So this is the start of the men's wall. Not a whole lot of heat here, but I'd probably take you guys to the back wall right over here where we have most of our heat. Thank you. Hey, I can do. So the way that this is split up, you know, we have all of our ones, dunks, Yeezys, fours, all like the mix of Jordans, couple New Balances on down at the bottom, and the way that we do it in our store. Uh, so we have the prices and the size of each shoe. So it'll it'll vary depending on if we have multiple sizes. Uh, so like the Hyper Royals, we got nine, nine and a half, ten, all that. It'll have the price there at $5.50. This one's kind of like our miscellaneous slash use section for like our kids and women. So we got a couple forces, a couple 11s right here, a couple dunks. Again, just kind of miscellaneous stuff. This one's our newest collection. It comes with three different colorways. We got this beige one, we got the white one, and we got the blue one right here. Catch every drop is going to be on the back of the brown one. Please wear shoes in black and orange on the back for the white one. And then we have kicks for all for the UNC blue one. But yeah, that's pretty much wraps up the tour for us. All right, Chris, I have just a couple simple questions for you. Of course. Just kind of getting different opinions from the different store owners. If you were to win the lottery today, would you continue working here slash have the store open or would you close it and just say screw it? For me personally, I'd stay working here just because like Mega Millions, yeah, it's a lot. Dude, that's 800 million though. It's 800 mil. 800 mil. You would show up tomorrow. But like after taxes. I mean like obviously take a week off, go on vacation, Hawaii, Disneyland, try you to hit it all. Oh, 
He said just 800 million in his bank account, just a week vacation. Oh just God. a week, you know, that 800 million's there, but really it's like, how long is it gonna last? Yeah, you guys, if I wanted, be like, cool, cool. I might take a day to celebrate, but in all honesty, I'll be back in here within two days. Okay, so if this guy wins the lottery, we'll, we'll see. We'll see if he, <laughs> he keeps his word. Yeah, right. Everybody that entered the Mega Millions last night, I know I entered. I, I was entered. a little hurt when I didn't win, even though it's like a th one in three hundred million chance. Okay, second question: How do you feel like your store separates you from all the other sneaker shops around? So for us, you know, we wanted to be. We wanted to be. We wanted the store to be in a location where it's accessible to everybody. You know, this is the number one mall in Oregon, so we figured why not come to the mall? So given you are in a mall, I know some malls are a little bit weird about pre-owned and stuff like that. Obviously, you showed me the pre-owned. They don't have any issues with that. You guys carry both new and pre-owned? Yep. Yeah. No, they haven't had any issue with it. Um, although for some customers, it does get a little confusing. What is like one piece of advice you would give like some young kid or like someone that is just trying to get into the space to be their own? Yeah. Um, don't stop, honestly. I mean, that's gonna be the number one thing that I would tell anybody is just don't stop. I mean, like, obviously, like, right now, like, you guys have seen it too, like, with inflation and all that stuff. Market prices have been dipping down here and there and all that stuff. Exactly, it can get discouraging. And for me, it's like, just keep going. Like, even though it's gonna dip down, like, shoes, shoes is gonna be a forever thing. You gotta realize that, you know, shoes are like a car. Like, it's fashion. It's, it's fashion. It's gonna hold its value. Like, obviously, when you wear it, it's still gonna go down, but it's gonna keep that value. Don't stop, guys. Don't stop. It'll be better. <laughs> the market will bounce back. You will adapt. It's going to be okay. 100%. Thank you, Chris, for showing us around. Of course, guys. Yeah, Thank, you for you guys. Thank you for the great tour. Appreciate you guys pulling up. The, the game on all the questions. I'm sure a lot of you will take value from that. That was kind of our motive behind that. Give you guys some advice and pointers from guys who are proven successful in the industry. Hope you guys take some value from that and that's going to wrap it up here at hard and before you guys go we are going to be announcing a giveaway so number one you guys got to subscribe to sneak city on youtube number two you guys got to follow us at hearth on instagram hearth.pdx and obviously follow the sneak city number three you guys are going to comment your instagram handles down below and you guys are going to comment your favorite part of the video we'll be giving away a free pair of military blacks in your guys respective size so. wow very generous of you guys of course guys thank you so much of course thank you guys so much for visiting it was a pleasure to meet you if you guys are ever in the beaverton general portland area, area just anywhere portland metro you guys know where to find us at washington square mall we're just over here just across from the new lululemon just behind the starbucks kiosk later guys that's a wrap for today's episode i hope you had a good time coming along to the portland secret shops with us we just grabbed some food in the food court Got like some pizza and Panda Express. You guys didn't want to see it. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, trust me. We just did. scarfed it down. We got a like three and a half hour drive home, so I'm gonna bust it out. You guys have three different opportunities to win a giveaway: black dunk clothes from Back to the Board, fifty dollar gift card to Laundry PDX, and a military black four from Park. So make sure you guys do the three steps. Follow us and those stores on their Instagram accounts, and make sure to leave a comment down below what your Instagram handle is and what your favorite part of this video was. And don't forget to tune into our Whatnot Live Tuesday, August second at five p.m. You guys don't want to miss. It, but for now, we're out. We out. Drive. We'll see you guys later. Peace.